We should explore ideas like universal basic income. We will have to have some kind of universal basic income. We're going to have to consider new ways of thinking about these problems, like a universal income. Universal basic income, or UBI, is a trendy but controversial idea among politicians and Silicon Valley leaders. The concept is simple, giving money to people every month without strings attached and at taxpayers' expense. Our generation is going to have to deal with tens of millions of jobs replaced by automation. Proponents of the program hope it can reduce income inequality and soften the blow for those like truckers who could soon lose their job due to automation. They also argue that UBI could replace or supplement other more selective forms of welfare. Well, people are working hard. They're working very hard. They're working one, two, and sometimes three jobs. Mm -hmm. They're working uh, until there's nothing left. Amaya Puar is a Chicago alderman who's proposing a UBI pilot program for the city. The trial would provide $500 every month to a thousand families each, using donations from wealthy UBI supporters. Chicago would join Stockton and Oakland, California, and Finland in experimenting with small-scale UBI trials. But it's unclear yet how UBI would be financed on a larger scale and whether enough voters would rally behind the idea at a city, state, or national level. Critics of the program would say that it might reduce the incentive for these people to look for a job. No one is leaving their job for $500 a month. When we hand over tax incentives to big corporations or we give tax cuts to rich people, um, the goal, the assumption is that they're going to spend the money in the economy and it's going to circulate around, right? So rich people do the right thing, but if we help poor people or people who are struggling with a little bit of cash so that they can make decisions about how to provide for themselves, somehow we're going to believe they're going to go out and buy champagne. I think the idea that most people are going to become lazy or waste some money is, is not uh, borne out by the evidence. You know, at the same time, I do think we, um, especially when kids are, are at stake, you know, we have to think about what is the social safety net for kids you know, in those few exceptions where parents might not be making the best decisions for them. Seema Jayachandran is a professor of economics at Northwestern University. She says two long-term examples of programs similar to UBI are the yearly check that Alaska gives its residents and the redistributed gambling income from a Native American reservation. While she says that both programs have helped reduce poverty, she also points out that the comparisons don't solve the ultimate funding question. Where have those been funded from? It's either natural resources um, or gambling. That's not the way that we're going to fund a US-wide or even a Chicago-wide UBI. So where is the money coming from? And this comes back to if we have UBI without that tough discussion about taxes, it might lead to cuts of some of these other programs like food stamps or Medicaid, et cetera. Um, and then, you know, then it's an open question of whether the poor are actually better off or worse off. Alderman Poor is working on getting more partners and donors on board before asking city council to vote on his initiative. Besides the UBI program, his resolution would also give the 1,000 chosen families their earned income tax credit payments on a monthly rather than annual basis.